Yeah, and that commuter rail is part of an overall vision to create a hub for both transit and commuters right here at Santa Fe Station. If you're thinking about commuter rail, think of a passenger train, if you will, operating alongside or in the same corridor as a freight railroad, uh, only providing people connections from their home to work, shopping, and all those other places they want to go. Jason Fair rushes with the Regional Transportation Authority of Central Oklahoma. He says talks about bringing commuter rail to the metro has been a topic of conversation since the mid-2000s. We are in the process of initiating the third year of our study of how to make commuter rail work within this corridor. That study will look at possible costs and what sort of ridership they could see. But with the region known for being car-centric, would people actually change their commuting habits? We've done some public engagement. We've had several uh, town halls over the last couple of years, and um, we have we have learned from those town halls that there is a a a high interest. And Fairbrush says introducing commuter rail does not necessarily mean a lot of folks will ditch their cars. We expect a lot of our customers to use an automobile and the highway system to connect to a park and ride location along the commuter rail corridor to take them to their final destination. There's still no hard timeline on when we could see such a train hit the rails in the metro. The RTA is now focusing on being selected for a federal grant of $100 million to cover some of the costs associated with constructing the system.